We're super excited to share this local SEO monthly reporting template, which is built in Data Studio, but really runs off of a Google Sheet that combines data from three different sources. And we think this is really unique amongst Data Studio reports that we know of. Um, it combines Google My Business data for you know all of your locations, rolls that up with traffic for those locations from Google Analytics, as well as keywords for those locations from Google Search Console, rolls them all up into one tab in Google Sheets and lets you visualize that in a single you know, monthly local SEO report in Data Studio. So at the end of the day, you know, all this is happening you know, in Sheets, behind the scenes, all the data aggregation. Um, but you have accessible to you all of these metrics in the same data set. You can look at impressions, clicks, and conversions across you know, the organic funnel from Google My Business, Google Search Console, through to Google Analytics. Um, and I think most importantly, it kind of builds this table for you where for each location and location URL that you're working with, um, you can look at side by side Search Console, Google My Business, and Google Analytics metrics from one table. So before we dive into how to set up you know, this sheet and copy the report and everything, just want to walk through kind of what the basics of the report contains um, in the different pages. So on page one, as with every blueprint report, we have space for you to actually write a text summary of what you see in the current month. And this way, if you're sharing this report with a client, you can have kind of put your own spin on what happened, what's relevant for them to look at, um, and what's what are the action items based off of this. This, um, a lot of clients, if you share this report, right, they'll just read this page so they won't even dig in. So that's, we always like to have these kind of, you know, written summaries. Uh, so the second page is just a general funnel visualization. So metrics across the funnel um, for all of those three data sources I mentioned and looking at trends at those. Um, and again, since this is a data studio report, if you want to look at different metrics for, you know, these these different points in the funnel and, or look at different metrics on this chart, you know, this report is yours to edit and play around with. Data Studio has a really nice drag and drop interface. You can add different metrics. You can add optional metrics if you want to just look at them sometimes. Um, you can really have a day with customizing, you know, customizing this report to suit your exact needs. So that's the second page, kind of a, a funnel summary. The third page is just Google Analytics data. So looking at trends for each of your locations um, and pages that correspond to them. And let's see, for Google My Business, we have all of the different you know, types of actions from website visits, phone calls, direction requests, reviews, you know, all the actions that take place on your Google My Business pages and trends across those actions, um, as well as a similar table view here. And then we have Google Search Console keywords. And this is really, you know, I think an interesting part of the report is that because we can use Google Sheets to actually set your locations and say which location name, you know, corresponds to which keywords, we can say, um, you know, search queries with Miami in the title, in the, in the keyword, res refer to the Miami location. Um, so you can really get a fine-grained, uh, you know, picture of which locations are specifically performing well uh, for which search keywords and kind of what's the trend in impressions and clicks and position and all that stuff. Um, so this really, you know, from our perspective, gives you all of the kind of organic search data that you need to work with. Um, and crucially, since it's Data Studio, you can, you know, modify it as much as you would like. Let me just tuck that in. Okay, cool.